Okay, so a short video of what I'm up to today. I've got three or four hours to play with, so I'm gonna, gonna do some on this. Um, the plan is to get all this relatively smooth, get the speaker sitting flush and properly. Um, same along here. But it's gonna be, it's not, it hasn't gotta be exactly smooth because obviously it's gonna be covered in um, tape and then stick a bomb anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's gotta be decent, so it doesn't want lumps everywhere. Uh, so I'll be doing that along all that sort of area, mainly probably in this end as well. Uh, do quite a lot on that, uh, and also on the joint into there as well. I'll get that all nice and tidied up. Uh, I'm also planning to, well, as, as you see in the last video, I'm planning to move the sub first because obviously that's covered in dust. I'll have a look at that. Uh, but I'm also going to try and get this door fitted, or at least mostly fitted um, today. So I've got to cut out this section here. Uh, so I'll start on that first, probably, I think, just to make sure we're in the right sort of zone for sizings. Um, we'll see how much we can get done and the second half of the video will show what I have done. I've done so we'll see how we get on Okay, so part two um, I didn't get quite as far as I hoped um, Tonight mainly because I've come across a few little technical hitches, but I'll show you what they are and uh, what I'm gonna do to sort them out um, So basically I've been doing a bit of sanding back uh, you can see obviously where it's all gonna Sort of blend in here. It's all gonna blend in this side um, where the door shuts, the top of the door. Um, I've trimmed this back because this was all out of shape, so this is getting towards some sort of shape now. Up there. Obviously needs a bit of work around there. And obviously needs to work all the way along here. Various places, which is fine. Same this side. Uh, I've marked out where the door's going to have to go. This little groove here, uh, that's basically where the door shut is. So I've got to take that back a little bit. So basically it's going to be, well, there's, there's plenty of room in the side of the door because I've chopped all this out now. Then that. I've chopped all that side of the door out. All that is going to be flat piece and then blended into the top of the door there, which is very similar to what I'm going to do on the other side, but I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so this is, obviously, yeah, so that's all going to be flatted back. I've got to take like a layer off here to allow the edge of the door, uh, if I can show you it to the door basically along there to sit in it here's the general gist uh, you might notice that I've taken some of the um, well I basically made a, a cardboard section and fiberglass over here before uh, I've come across a bit of a hitch whereby the door wouldn't shut properly whereas it did before um, not because of this but I'm gonna have to strengthen it anyway so I had to take it off um, but because of all this stuff here um all this sort of rail where the old window rail was which i don't need anyway um all into the door side of things all in here um so basically what i've got to do to make this fit which I'll, I'll shut the door in a second so you can have a look um i've got to take out i mean it's, it's gonna look nicer anyway because this this piece is sort of staying uh slightly different but staying it's coming further in um but it's still gonna have a nice flat piece over here and then it's gonna sweep nicely down there and blend into the door at the top where the uh, big pillar is, big pillar post thing cover. Uh, yeah, so the idea is I'm going to um, next plan is to chop. Where are we now? Here we go. I'm going to chop um, all this section out, all this whole, all this whole piece up here. This is all going to go, um, make it nice and flat. So basically, it's the same size as that. So you can see there's a, a big difference there, and that's why it's it's not it's catching on. This basically is the general gist, so you can see where it goes in line. I should have spotted it before, but I didn't for some reason. And obviously, I've beefed up this area now, so uh, it won't fit. Um, doesn't matter because there's no real strength in this side of things anyway, because it's all in the car, car now in there, so it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be I'll chop that all there. It's quite a bit of work involved to do that. Um, I've got to do the same to the side, which I'll show you. No, I still haven't cleaned the garage out for when anyone says this. I'm sure they will. Um, right, so I've cut out. You'll notice at the start of the video, there's a big section missing here. All that's missing. I've chopped all that out to get the right shape. Same with the other side. Uh, that's metal and wood in there. Um, chopped all the way down here. This is all now flatter. Let's see if I can show you that. There you go, this is all now flatter. That would all be done properly, obviously. None of these jagged edges and bits around here. These will all be done properly finished off. 
um, and that'll nicely that'll shut nicely on the on the door frame at the bottom. All being well, uh, but obviously all this itself needs strengthening. There's going to be MDF inside there um, and braced and all sorts in there. Bit of all sorts going on. Bit bit like this. Bit like bracing for like this, but um, better than this. To be fair, it's going to be a better option. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'll, I'll shut the door so you can have a look. What it looks like at the moment. I try and do this with my phone, which is tricky. I'll ditch that pace. There we go. Door's a lot lighter now. I could do it one handed, whereas I couldn't before. Okay. Right. So you can see where the door was. Well, originally was. It fits um, there, basically. That's, that's where the normal line is. Uh, obviously, I've chopped down there now into the angle. Um, but that door line is going to go, let's try and get this back on track, difficult, oh, difficult with one hand, um, but yeah that basically will sit in there, it's a little bit too far over at the moment because the hinge is slightly out, it doesn't matter at the moment, uh, but you see how far out it sticks, that's literally just down to all this, you can see that bulging slightly on there, that's because that's sitting on the beeper, um, which is no good basically. Um, and obviously the, the bottom section will need some work as well to get it flat afterwards. Um, this piece here, you can see where, let's see if I can get round further, you can see where I've done the groove where it's going to sit. And obviously I'll be filled and sorted out later on at a later date, but that's the general gist of that for the, for the sizing of it. And that will literally look like a flush panel, which would be pretty cool. And then I've just got to get the mirror blended in over here i'm going to blend that into the actual window pretty much basically now uh so it'll be one nice big solid piece so the window is a bit of a bit of a weird one some people have got no idea what that's about and some people understand it uh yeah but that's basically where i am so by the time the next video comes out this door should be nicely shut in uh including the door shuts um you never know, it might even have the interior side of things, the interior panel piece done as well, so I can show you that on the inside. Um, in fact, I will show you on the other side, roughly. Bear with me. Not easy in this garage, as you know. Let's see if you can see it. On this side, you can see where the door pillar is going to go. So basically, this, this whole piece here, is like a strengthening section um there's going to be obviously things like door seals and stuff in there the bottom of that uh, the bottom section there that section isn't going to be like that it's going to change uh, but i'll show you that in another video because it's going to be a little while off yet uh, but it's all built into the sub block and everything else so it's but yeah the door side uh, the door shape has come along quite nicely uh, the other side Also need some fiberglass work on there to get it right, but it's looking a lot more curved now rather than a big flat piece of wood, basically. Now it's actually got some sort of shape and curve to it. Um, so yeah, it's come along quite nice to be fair. It's got to obviously tidy all that up and get it shaped and, and looking looking better, looking more showy, shall we say. But yeah, quite a long video in the end of this, but um, yeah, leave your, leave your comments. I'm sure there'll be plenty. Uh, and um, yeah, obviously subscribe if you can as well, that would be very uh, appreciated, and I'm sure will do another video ASAP.